Hello, and welcome to what is, perhaps, the worst art video ever made. The reason for that is that I'm doing all the filming, audio recording, and drawing with the same thing. And I have no idea whether I'm in frame. This camera's got a very narrow field of view, and it has no screen. That's because I'm currently filming with this thing. It's a pen. And right here, it has a tiny little camera. I wonder if the resolution of this camera is enough to even see itself. I have no idea. The video quality is worse than the 90s handy cam. Another feature it has is that it can be taken apart into two pieces so I can draw with it and film with it at the same time. The only way you can access the ballpoint pen is by holding down the metal end of it, that polished chrome part, and then twisting the main body. So let's try drawing with this half of the pen then. Yep, yeah, well it works. It's a ballpoint pen. What did anyone expect? So now welcome to the drawing part of the video where I do a time lapse, except in this case I have no idea where the camera is actually pointing and how much of the drawing you're actually going to see with the second half of the camera pen. So the pen that comes with this camera is just a tiny little black ballpoint pen and it's not the most interesting part of this device so I will talk very little about it. It just has some tiny little ink cartridge in it. But let's talk about the specifications of this camera instead. So the camera records at VGA resolution and it has the dynamic range of the surface of the moon. You'd be lucky to get the sky and the ground exposed at the same time. But occasionally it has actually impressed me, so when I consider all of its disadvantages, it has the smallest glass lens I've ever seen, which looks like it was sculpted out of a particularly large grain of sand. And also, besides taking video, it can also record audio by itself, and it can also take a photo, all which is accessed by the one top button on top of the thing. So the user interface isn't that great. It has a tiny little green LED, or a red one, depending on what function it's, it's doing. So you hold the button down to turn it on. You tap it once to take a photo. You tap the button twice to record audio. And then you hold the button down for about three seconds to record a video. But you also hold the button down for slightly more than three seconds to turn the thing off. So occasionally you just end up turning the thing off instead. So anyway, I'm using the audio recording function right now to do the voiceover in this pen. It probably sounds terrible because according to VLC, the audio files are only sampled at 8,000 kilohertz at a 16-bit depth as opposed to the usual 44.1 or 48 kilohertz, what I usually record things at. So I suppose at a sample rate of 8,000 kilohertz, it probably has the hearing equivalent to a 90-year-old man, I guess. Or maybe not quite. According to the maths, it can only record frequencies up to 4,000 kilohertz then. So all the higher range of frequencies that the human ear can hear are all gone. So anyway, I'm probably boring you with random camera specifications. So you know what's interesting? I find using this tiny little camera pen more interesting than one of my good cameras. I think it's the novelty of it. I also enjoy the challenge of trying to get good footage out of something really bad. But all things considering, and the fact that this thing I think only cost like $10 or something, which is quite amazing for a pen and a camera and one, I'm, I'm quite impressed. So anyway, here's my little art piece, which I did with half a pen. Uh, you probably only saw half of the things I wanted to record anyway because of the narrow field of view and no screen. Anyway, um, I might just say goodbye and leave you with a few little video clips that I took. Okay, goodbye. Any camera can look good if you've got something nice to film. Yeah. 